Um, I have a lot of respect for Mahomes as a player. <laughs> No, I'm just kidding. I just understand. I'm just wait. But I will tell you this. I... <laughs> <laughs>
he's 3-0 as a starter, but at the same point, as Dan said so politely, uh, he'll turn back into a pumpkin. I have the Bills winning this game 24-10, to but what? No, I just, I think it's worth having a discussion about Mason Rudolph. Be okay. Okay. Because this thought that, like, he has revitalized this Steelers offense, I just think is, is inaccurate. No, I, I agree. I think it's almost like what we saw with Joe Flacco in the playoffs yesterday. Like, there was some... Hear me out before you get offended. Like, there were moments of Regression belief. to the mean. <laughs> oh, my God. Let me explain. Like, there were moments where you're like, wow, I really believe maybe this guy can be the guy down the stretch. And then in, in when they lost to the Texans, it was, like, pretty stunning of, you know what, the clock struck midnight exactly. type of thing. Yep. That is what I am expecting to see with Mason Rudolph. It's a great story. He's 3-0 and as a starter. He helped, you know, bring the Steelers team out of the depths into the playoffs. But at the same point, he has a ceiling. We know what that ceiling is. And it, Josh Allen's ceiling is... No, 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 no. No, 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 no me, me. And I'm trying to be more respectful and polite <laughs> because I've read the comments and people say, Dan, when people disagree with you, you're such a jerk about it. Stop being so, so mean. Comparing Mason Rudolph to Joe Flacco to me is a little crazy. The ceiling of Joe it's, Flacco it's is not, a Super Bowl. See, no, no, no. It's not no, what she's see, saying. I'm not, I'm, just, I'm not saying their, their play styles are the same, their skill sets are the same. I'm saying some of the narratives are the same in terms of someone that wasn't expected to make an impact on a team season, plays well, but then in big moments, you see the flaws and the cracks that they have. The Browns were winning because of Joe Flacco. The Steelers are winning with Mason Rudolph. Okay, but here's the thing I have to say to you. What Jenna is saying is put them in a position where Mason Rudolph has to be more than he's been. If the Bills put him in that position, that's when you'll see the crack. Okay. The Steelers have been able to play to this point where Mason Rudolph can just be game manager, mm -hmm. hitting a few big plays, and he's mm -hmm. done that, and not making mistakes. They've been able to do that regardless of the opponent. If the Bills put Mason Rudolph and the Steelers in a position where it's close or they're ahead and he can stay in the same game plan, they will have the confidence that they can win the game. I think what you're saying is put him down 10 to nothing, 13 to nothing, I... and then it'll happen. But if you don't do that, they're not, they don't care how many yards he's thrown for. Yeah. They care that he's won. I'm saying if you zoom out and look at the narratives. I'm not saying they're exactly the same in terms of the way they've led their teams. But okay. the end result has been the same of both teams were winning. And then in these yep. big moments, obviously you saw... Like, Joe Flacco is a better player than Mason okay. Rudolph. Again, he has won a Super Bowl, all these things. I'm not saying they're the same player, but I'm saying the narrative around them has been similar, and I expect in Monday's game for Mason Rudolph to turn back into a pumpkin. Okay. okay. I, I just, the three wins, as we've said before. Doesn't the Bengals, matter. Doesn't the Bengals, matter. Seattle, and the Ravens. And Jeff ha Hawthorne? Yes. Hawthorne, yeah. Hawthorne, phenomenal video you did with yeah. him. It's got 50,000 views. Make sure to check it out on the channel. Um, he talked about how Mason Rudolph has three passing touchdowns of over 60-plus yards. That he was pretty much like, for a quarterback play, he was water when the Steelers were in a desert. I agree. The one touchdown was a seven-yard slant to Deontay Johnson. Doesn't matter. It does. Context matters. No, it doesn't matter it to does. those Steelers when they take the field. Mm -hmm. Right now, they look at Mason Rudolph thinking, we, we can, can win, win with we him. We can win with our guy. It's all that matters. That, I completely agree. And the Bills just I need to shut can. that I think, down. I think they think that. I think that's a silly thought. It's not silly to them. Yeah. Hey, look, should, I don't think it's going to happen. Tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> On the field. All right. We talked about, we mentioned the games yesterday yeah. on Saturday. Just think of this uh, Mason Texans, Rudolph love. The te it's just respect for a guy who's won games yeah. in the, when they needed them to win. But I expect for Mason Rudolph to show that he is Mason Rudolph yeah. and him yeah. to come back down to. You're right. I You're know, 100% I, right. Like, We're on the same I, page, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think we are. I don't think it's we're just on the same different book. Levels of, <laughs> it's just different levels of. You're applauding more of his play last three games, and I'm more skeptical about the context of the games. No, I'm not. I, I agree with you on the context. I'm saying is with Jenna, it doesn't matter. The Steelers go out there going, hey, we can win. The Steelers aren't a very good team. They're good but enough they're to in make the it in the playoffs. They made it. I, I hear you. Like, it's not like they were lighting the world on fire, but there's something to be said for a team that makes it to the playoffs when at one point in the season, similar to the Bills, it looked like all hope was lost. Okay. Okay. All right. We talked about the games going on on Saturday, the Texans beating the crap out of the, yeah. the Browns. I want to face then, Houston. 
and Houston scares me, but obviously for the Bills, the Chiefs winning that game against the Dolphins, if Buffalo were to win against the Steelers, that would mean for the first time in his career, Patrick Mahomes would be playing a road playoff game. In yes. Jeremy White, I think, was one of the people that said it. Uh, the Bills are playing for America to win. <laughs> to make Mahomes is funny. so good. To make Mahomes play on the road, he needs to play on the road. He's only played neutral site Super Bowls, yeah. and he has played home games beyond that. Um, I have a lot of respect for Mahomes as a player. <laughs> No, I'm just kidding. I just understand. <laughs> just wait. But I will tell you this. I, the, <laughs> the Texans are a tough team and all that. And I'm with you guys. If they would have ended up playing the Texans, like that's a team that has nothing to worry about. They're it's playing found, with house money, found money for them. For and sure. they're they're good and yeah. confident. <laughs> I'll say this again after the game is depending on how it goes for the Bills. But if the Bills win. I have a ton of confidence against them, against the Chiefs in that game. They are the better team with this year, the better offense, better quarterback, and are better coached all around. I like them a lot against the Chiefs. I think the great Nick Wright, you know, big Buffalo Plus yes. subscriber. All no. those he should be a Buffalo Plus Set, subscriber. He was talking about how if the Chiefs win, it'll be a little bit of an overreaction. Yes, in those conditions, those elements, in, in Andy Reid's frozen snot mustache. Oh, it was so just good. disgusting. <laughs> so all good. of those things. Ew. I don't think the Chiefs played that great. I thought the Dolphins, we said it after the game in Miami. Yeah. We said they were a broken team. That I couldn't bet enough money on the Chiefs because I thought Miami had their back broken against Baltimore. They had their heart ripped out by Buffalo. And then they were, had, they were going to have to go to negative 27 degrees yeah. and play in Kansas City. There was zero chance. So this, th this thought of, I still think the Chiefs didn't play great. I still don't think they're that great. I think the Dolphins' defense is inept. They were without six starters. They were banged up. And they dropped, still dropped a ton of passes. I still think this Chiefs team is very mortal, very average. Yes, you have Patrick Mahomes, but I'm with you, Mike. I didn't walk away from that game going, oh, man, those look at the Chiefs. Here come the playoff Chiefs that we've seen before. I thought this is the Chiefs team that we've seen all year yeah. that looks very flawed. I, I, I think... Two things. One, I think it's good for if the Bills were to win that that the Chiefs are getting this nod from the media, oh, yeah. from the, yep. the narrative of like, oh, they're back, they've done it. Maybe they were high flying in the past, but this team can kind of grind it out. I thought their defense played well against the Dolphins, but we talked about it after the Dolphins game when the Bills beat them to get the AFC East. It was a shot Dolphins team going then on the road in the cold. So. I will say this. Um, it's a different thing for them to go on the road. Maybe they'll have they'll have a lot to prove if they end up playing Buffalo. Pacheco on the field is a big difference maker. Mm -hmm. Massive. He he really helps them a lot. Yeah. Rice is playing well. Yeah. And Kelsey is a Taylor Swift coming to Highmark Stadium would be something. Yeah. I don't know. That would be something. Yeah, it would be something. But I'm still saying this. That defense is really good. All those things. I just think the Bills match up well with that. Yep, I agree. I like them in that game. But that's a game to get, away. Yeah, to get there, I, I, I don't know if we talked about this. I would. This, this goes back to Mason Rudolph for a second. <laughs> Hang on. Sell, Circling back. <laughs> sell out against the run. Sell out to have to stop Najee Harris. Uh, and and Jalen Warren. I, I, they have run the ball more than any team in the NFL. They are going to challenge the Bills physically. Daquan Jones said this week, it is a simple mindset as a man whooping another man. That's what you have to go in. They've run the ball 85 times the last two weeks. It was in tough conditions both times. That's what they want to do. Sell out. Taron Johnson, Micah Hyde, Jordan Poyer. Make Mason Rudolph, make a big boy throw and yeah. beat you. I'm with you. How did we get back here? I don't know. He wanted to. He wanted yeah, to I just wanted to get that. one more point <laughs> like, in. Wow. Okay, whatever. Uh -huh. <laughs> All right, for Mason Rudolph. Hold on. And <laughs> I'm, hand, I'm holding up the cup that says Dan was wrong. Yeah, which you can get on the yeah. Buffalo Plus store. Buffaloplusstore.com. Yes. All right, for Dan Fates. Thanks, Rusty. Yes, our director, our producer, Melanie. Yeah. Uh, Dan, Dan, Mike, I'm Jenna. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. We'll have plenty of post-game coverage from Bill Steelers. People on like when we Plus. walk off and just leave you. It's you a walk-off. Yeah. Just okay, keep we'll talking. See <laughs> Just check it out. Thanks. Buffalo Plus, your interactive look at the week in football, brought to you by Connors and Ferris.